The city of Bozeman's watering restrictions went into effect nearly three months ago, and in that time, the city says water usage has slightly gone down. So that's saying the grass is always greener on the other side might not always be the case. We've just accepted the fact that we're going to have brown, hard lawn. Bozeman resident Reno Walsh has a couple of brown and dry spots in his lawn, but he's okay with that. In fact, he says he uses hardly any city water to irrigate his lawn. Instead, he collects rainwater. Walsh could have used city water on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, like other even-numbered addresses in Bozeman. And using that to water our gardens and our trees. Since the watering restrictions started, the city has received 60 reports of people watering when they shouldn't be. But rather than taking an enforcement approach, they are working on education. We didn't really get much for like repeat calls for the same address. With Bozeman watering restrictions, the city had one day where there was no residential watering. We have seen decreased water usage on Monday, which shows that a lot of residents are in compliance. So, how much did watering restrictions affect Bozeman residents? We're using 25 gallons less per person per day. Looking forward to the fall, water levels for the city at Highlight Reservoir remain normal thanks to the wet spring. Um, it may look low, but it's actually above average for this time of year. As for Walsh, he says having the grass greener on the other side might not be the reality moving forward. It's the American dream to have a, a nice house with a green lawn, but I think that dream that perspective needs to change here in the West. As we head into the fall, Alstrom says it's a good time to slow down watering even more to get your lawn ready for winter. In Bozeman, Edgar Cedillo, MTN News.